No. That's, that's what I was hoping. Um, I tried to... My goal is to make it a setting so only you can see their health bar, and you couldn't. And I think it works. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, you you burped on that dinosaur, and it hurt Oops. the dinosaur. It's a breath <laughs> weapon, so I'm going to yeah. call it a burp. Uh, next up is Maddie. Bart. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Uh, that's your attacking choice. The dino- Wait, attacking somebody or moving? Oh my god. Uh, okay. That is, again, Were your we choice. attacking the dinosaurs at the end? Uh, the dinosaur and the frogs are both uh, clearly hostile. Okay. Um, I, uh, I guess I'll do guiding bolt again. Does that work for the last time? Uh, but I can't remember the distance that a guiding bolt goes. Like if I need to move. Uh, I, you should be within range for all of them. And I can't, didn't okay. hear if you, um, which one you're going to attack. Uh, I will, if I'm within range of the dinosaur, then I guess I will okay. use guiding bolt on the dinosaur. Okay. Uh, give me a roll now. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, oh, so now roll for damage. Uh, how do I do that? Again? Uh, so just on the word guiding bolt in that roll you just made. Just click it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, in. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um. So yeah, you have. Casey's gone. Casey's back. Casey? Casey, there? Okay. Does a teen hit you? One nine. Nineteen. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Oh, I have a three health, I remember. Oh, that is good to remember. Uh, Casey, what is your HP at? Oh, higher than ours. Twenty-three. <laughs> wait, wait! I think I have a spell for this. Hold on. I don't think I should save Casey. Uh, 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 uh. Is Casey dead? Because I can, I can heal. I just can't. It, it's a sword. Like, it pounced on you and clawed at your face. Hold on, we got a question. Yes. Uh, you are unconscious. You're gonna have to make death saving throws on your turn until the combat's over. Question. <laughs> um. So, but yeah. So, uh, actually. Yeah. Uh, so Kelly can do something. Oh, people can do things on their own turn and initiative. So if someone wants to heal Casey at a certain point, then that'll work. 
Uh, can you hear me? I can hear anyone but Casey. Is anyone oh, else God. talking? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we're you. Okay. Not here, hold, on. hold on. Kelly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fresh because I just lost Sarah. Can I take this opportunity to go get a snack? Do it. <laughs> Everyone, but I've once again lost audio. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> okay, now now I can hear ENC again. Can uh, you hear me? Oh, and I can see Kelly now. New. Yay! Okay, I have lost though. So. Okay. Uh, next up is you, so you're going to have to make a death saving throw. Oh. Uh, so, do you know how to do that, Casey? Okay, <laughs> yeah, just click on death. <laughs> yeah. One failure. If you fail three times, Where you actually did. <laughs> um, so, come back. Okay, can can everyone else see and hear Sarah? No. No. Oh, yep. I uh, guess she's reconnected. Okay, she just reappeared. I am seeing all seven of you for the first time at once tonight. Awesome. Uh. Okay. Uh, so up next, since Casey is still actively dying, is Sarah. <laughs> Am I able to help Casey at all? Um, you're a rogue, right? Oh, um, you monk? Yeah. <laughs> uh, then I don't know. It depends what spells you have, if you have any. Uh, as far as extracting it, um, really just killing it before it has a chance to attack again is I just haven't gotten moved yet. But That was fun. Is dexterity instead of strength for an attack? Mm-hmm. Attack and damage rolls of my monk weapons and arm strikes. So I want to do a dexterity roll with my monk weapons. I just don't know how to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll let Casey explain. Yeah, I just don't know like what I should click. Like, should I click dexterity or should I click one of my weapons or how does it? Uh, click weapon. Cool. Uh, and ju I just want to check something quickly. What your movement speed is? Yeah, so you cannot get, you cannot get dinosaur right now. Um, uh, but you yeah you you can get to one of these frogs. Okay. Um, can I use my short? The short sword is a monk weapon, right? It also claims that. Yep. So if I click on short sword, it'll. Do yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that critical hit. Uh, and a critical miss on the same double roll. 
What? Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, short sword. Again. Again. Okay. Or sorry. Um. Okay. So yes, you've confirmed oh. the critical. And now, uh, click on the word short sword in chat. So the little box that has the rolls. Uh, just go on the actual word short sword, and that'll roll your damage. Wait, I've been clicking the word short sword the whole time. Uh, in the chat. You've been clicking, yeah. So now in the chat, your actual rolls shut up. Uh, in the bottom of the box with the rolls is the word short sword, and they'll just click on it, on the word, in the chat log now, like I just did. In the chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you roll okay, a nine. Not bad. So you uh, deal eighteen damage. Because it was a critical, doubled, uh, and it is dead. Nice. Woo! I signal to my friends that I have killed a frog goblin. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. And yeah. they now know that <laughs> crows are deadly. Um, <laughs> or murder. There's more. <laughs> I knew someone would do that. I knew it. Okay, so after Sarah has successfully pecked it to death, uh, up next is Peter. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to play the bagpipe. Not really, but AC told me I got an instrument and I got <laughs> the bagpipe. So, just in case. If you ever want to attract... Did you only give him the bagpipes because I got rid of them? How many instruments do you have? <laughs> and a cane and a bard. Oh my god. All right. All right. Um, I would like to use healing word to heal Casey. Go for it. Okay. Um, I I think he if he uses healing while you're at negative life, he just stabilizes you, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Uh, you are still prone, so it will take an action to stand up on your turn. All right, there you go. Awesome. That was dramatic. Yeah, also, feel free to not cough into the mic. <laughs> um, so, then I don't need to do anything to Casey's character. Correct. Like, I don't need to, like, cure his wounds or anything. Maybe okay. Heimlich, based on the sounds Casey's making, but... <laughs> no I don't think my character can do that. Okay, so up next in initiative Your SOL. is the murder frog. Uh, then he is just gonna run up to the little bird that just oh, killed his mother. Uh, <laughs> Who isn't even present right now to... <laughs> He's back. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Logan, okay. Sarah, the frog wants to kill you now. Okay, in let's defense, go. In its defense, you just killed her. Yeah, you I'm just like... walked up to its mother and just said, nope, murdered her. They look angry, okay? Well, he definitely looks angry now. Okay, great. Go. Let's do okay. this. Okay. Let's uh, attack you. Uh, Wait, can it. I can't attack him first? No. All right. Because it's uh, his move. turn. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, Go for the, is that what I do? Uh, you just stand there and take the hit. It's just like what you do now. Uh, well, I'm about to roll. All right. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you do. Yeah. That's a very good armor class level one. Yeah, 22 still hits, yeah. Uh, take five. Five? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. 
how much life are you, sir? Huh? How, how much life are you at? Five. Cool. Um, Crouton, you will have someone to heal next turn. Uh, <laughs> so you, you are now prone and on the ground. Well, because uh, it just rolled uh, critical, and I mean, the minimum it could do six before being doubled. Can I increase uh, points? Uh, when you level up. Okay. Uh, which will be at the end of the today. Yeah, so you take uh, 16 because I roll a crit. Yay. Do I, yeah. do I just adjust it to zero? Is that what I do? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. for now. Yeah, so just Seven. adjust it to zero and then. Huh. Um, but look okay. on the bright side. You're not actually dead. You're just actively dying. Okay. <laughs> Can I give someone a, a gift? Like crows give gifts? I mean, like, <laughs> this shiny piece of foil? Please, don't kill me. <laughs> um. I have foil on me. I like shiny objects. That's part of my character. <laughs> Uh, I think I think for a frog that's just a target. All right, <laughs> just drag attention to yourself. Look at me. Cool. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, after waving a shiny object where there's a dinosaur attacking people is what you want to do. Okay, I didn't do that. Because <laughs> also you're unconscious and you couldn't choose to if you wanted to. Uh, but next up, right. you're back. To the I threw the bagpipes to mourn Sarah's death. No. <laughs> no. Not okay. until the dinosaur and the frog is dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you just did a death save and failed. But I mean, now you're away from wrong. Okay. Um, next up is Kelly. Wait, has Katie gone? Uh, oh, did I skip you when I was putting you? I'm sorry, Katie. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to go. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> you were just last in initiative order. Yeah, so it is you next, Katie. I apologize. Great. Is anyone close enough for me to either shoot them with an arrow or hit them with a staff or a sword? Um, so you can take an arrow shot at the dinosaur right now. You... Oh, and since Sarah is prone, she's not obstructing your... So you can uh, take a shot at either with an arrow. Yeah, since Sarah is just laying unconscious on the ground, she's not blocking your line of sight. Okay, that's the one that's... Turn is it after me? Uh, it's Kelly after you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the small one that's uh, closer to me. The frog? I'm gonna shoot an arrow. I'm hmm. stuffing this computer. Okay, so I go down to wait. Yeah, how do I do this again? Right. What do I click on the character sheet? Oh, not my short bow? No. Uh, I, I thought it was attacking from a distance, is what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for right here. Okay. Uh, you will have a move up to one of them then. Uh, you can get up to the frog, but you can't get to the sword. So okay. I'm assuming. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So yes, you can make your uh, fourteen. Uh, unfortunately, you swing at your 
right here just kind of bounces off his armor and he rivets at you derisively. <laughs> He's really not doing well with the combat roll. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe... Do you have two weapon fighting? I don't think so. No. Uh, if you had two attacks, I don't... Uh, sometimes that's just you get that as a rule, depending on the build you go with. Let me check. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it sounds like you do get an attack then, Kitty. Uh, so now roll for some damage. Wait, what? Yes? Uh, so back in chat. Back in chat. Damn. Yeah, so five. Yes. Oh, it has been slightly pierced. Like a paper cut. Slightly pierced. Except, you know, with a sword. <laughs> so now <laughs> it really gives Kelly up things. Alright. Well, I have a short sword. Can I attack with that? Uh, I'm, yeah, you'll have to take one step towards the dino, but yeah. Yep, okay. Do we? Okay, can everyone else hear Kelly? Because I can't hear her at all. I can. Cool. You have to hit refresh. Um, let me double check. Yep, roll some damage. He five. Uh, he is a little less healthy than he was a moment before. Woo! I'll take it. He's still he's still standing though. Um. I have two weapons. Well, they're the ones that are, well, how do I, they're the ones that are right underneath where it says like hit dice. Okay. Yeah, that hits. So roll damage. Well, that was better. Yeah, he he looks not great. Um, he is still alive. Um, and it is now his turn. And Casey is still not a threat. So Kelly, he uh, he's going after you. Eh, I figured. <laughs> okay. He is going to try to... Let's have him bite you. Does a 16 hit you, Kelly? Does a what? Does a 17 hit? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. That's so close to my number. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your health at, Kelly? Six. 
six? Yeah. I'm guessing I'm dead. No, you're not dead, but you're uh, out of the fight. Take 17. You're actively dying. Um, so that's the fourth critical hit I've rolled. Dang, dude. Um, I'm switching to Get a different die. die. I'm switching to a different die. Because <laughs> this should not be hurting you guys as much as it is. You have some way to die there. Um, yeah. Uh, he, he, he swipes you pretty hard. Um, Sorry. yeah, up next, DC. Yep. That is just barely a hit. That is a hit. Wow. 13. 15. Wow. Well, that is a very important difference between 13 and 15. Because it, it is the difference between 12 and 15 points of overkill, because you only had one HP. <laughs> you can postulate and I'll decide they're not all allow it. hit you? Yeah. Uh, it spits on you with its dying breath. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. It still spits on you and dies. It does not do any damage. But but you were mouthing it as it died, which is a jackass move. Spit on you as it dies. <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah, you did. Sure. That's, I guess, how that worked. Um, yeah. Up next is Sarah again. I So I'm active full health too, right? I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> right? <laughs> I've been just like patiently waiting to heal somebody. Can I use my turn to make Maddie heal me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I do that? Did it work? Uh, he is. Oh, no, yeah. You survived. You're good. You're just unconscious now. That works. Okay. Up next he is Maddie. Yes? Okay. Um. I have two options. I don't really know the difference between the two. One is cure wounds, and the other one is healing word.
I, yeah, I believe that's the difference. I believe... Let me check. But I believe Cure Wounds are physical contact. I was going to say, I think because Peter did Healing Word, and he's just hanging out back there, so... Okay. It, it says I so, like... Within yeah. Range. Cure Wounds require physical contact. I have a 60 contact. foot range. Yeah. Healing Word is 60 feet. Okay. Yep. Uh, so healing word will one d four plus your modifier, whereas cure wounds would be a d eight plus your modifier. By deal, I mean heal. Okay. So if I did cure wounds, which sounds like the way to go, um, mm -hmm. I would need to walk over to that first. Yeah. Okay. I will do that. As soon as I'm, um, who's in my character sheet? What? Or one of is one of you in my character sheet? Shame, Casey. Shame. <laughs> Get out of my sheet. No, I was just asking. I'll click it, but I can't. <laughs> uh, I think you click it, and then in the main screen, it'll pop up asking you what level to cast at. No, I, like, somebody was in my cheat, and it, like, screwed it all up. It's like, everything is non-existent. Hold on. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. Sorry. Figured it out. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, gosh, darn it. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, apparently, I just made an hey. animal control, and I do, I'm not a character, but <laughs> the chat thinks I made an animal handling roll. Um... <laughs> Okay, sure. Okay. I am going to click your wounds now and see yeah. if I can hear um feel say please help me. I'm doing my best. best. Help. <laughs> I think you mean caw caw caw. You cannot I'm, I'm speaking. I'm speaking Does okay, so work? Kenko can do uh mimicry, which means if uh, I if I've heard it before, I can say it perfectly how I've heard it. So. Oh, that's super fucking great. Uh, so, can you help me because I heard someone. Do that? Oh. Okay. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Crouton. Back to you. I will be back to kill my frog things. Yeah. I am back. Okay. So, Servant Stabilized, and up next is Peter. I, I, I think I have to heal Kelly. Oh, yeah. I, you have to as well. I am hurt. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of hurt people. Hurt. I think you uh, could technically choose not to, but I think that would be a bad call. I'm going to call for your marriage. <laughs> Yeah, I hope someone kills me when I die. <laughs> I don't know after that drum fiasco. <laughs> that was a whole week ago. <laughs> I hold it. An hour ago, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, that happens. Uh, Kelly's stabilized now, and after Peter, it is murder frog time. And. Uh, Oh, Katie attacks, so she's no longer stealth. Uh, well, it's going to attack Katie because of randomness. Mm -hmm. An eight does not hit you, Katie. And I assume a nine does not either. So now it is Katie's turn. 
Kill it. I was just wondering how long off would we just watch your texting and yeah no um yeah so I'm attacking with my rapier yeah that's a hit finally god damn it so I rolled for some damage feelings there Kelly well she can't hear me <laughs> oh I didn't really are you now, Kelly? Oh, yay! I just went <laughs> earlier, and I was really confused. Oh, okay. So, you want to roll for damage, Katie? How do I do that? In chat. Oh. Uh, so, you deal 24 damage. It was a crit. What? Uh, it's dead now. Oh, it ought. I thought that was her fire. Okay, well, it's it's still dead. Uh, yeah. Yes, you guys have successfully killed the dinosaur and frogs that have no clue why they were attacking you or existing. Uh, what would you like to do? Can I play some celebratory music? I will come <laughs> to your kill you. Okay, I will decide how to. <laughs> you mean like be in a safe Can't area before you play your instrument for yourself? <laughs> Byron will never let us be in a safe area, okay? This is okay, to be clear, I will never stop you from making a bad decision. I make a snarky comment, but if you want to make your character uh, no, like, I, 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 I in really the middle of a dinosaur infested forest, go for it. Wait until we're like in an inn or keep or something. Yes. Oh, then you can earn money. Here are the greats. Please don't play any music. We don't know how many more dinosaurs there are. Because apparently there's fucking dinosaurs here now. <laughs> yes. Okay. So for those who have not played D&D &D before, um, you can do something that's called a long rest. And on a long rest, you get to heal a bunch. Um, but you do have to take eight hours in game time, and sometimes can happen during that time. Um, but I don't remember who all is hurt right now, but a long rest uh, lets you heal, and then it also re replenishes your spell slots for those of you who have that. Okay. For those of you that matters for, um, I recommend that you do that, but since that's a thing you guys might not know about, I thought I'd mention it. Uh, but before that, does anyone want to check the corpses? Yeah, I was going to take a scale or a tooth or something, just so we can prove that there's fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, you, you remove as many scales you want, and you can de- Tooth these this dinosaur, yeah. Or heard of them, so uh, you're probably not going to say dinosaurs, but yeah, you can say dinosaurs. I just want to clarify, dinosaur is not even a concept your people know, but like, I'm not going to be a stickler on you guys. Using that word. Aggressive but, lizards. Yes. Yeah. Very aggressive lizards. The yes. death chomp chomp. You're in 
you're in a small wooded area. You haven't seen like any signs of civilization other than uh, Stonehenge like area you were at to start with. Um, but you don't, uh, there are no other indications of predators around. In Um, it's it's hilly, but never more than like ten or fifteen feet of elevation change. So it's not like mountainous or anything. But right now you're at area in a little. Um, you're in this little clearing between two patches of woods, but even those are just like a hundred yards thick. Can I do another move for roll? Another what? Nature roll since we're technically somewhere else. Yeah. You guys are right there. Um, you can tell that you're outside. <laughs> okay, I'll roll a nature roll as well. I uh, uh okay, yeah, nature. You concur that the outdoors is still outside. Um, Great. Yeah, um, I, I'm not going to let right now. Because um, there's not really much help you can provide us. Can I review it? Is that how that works? Um, yes, but it will only... Uh, it, if you succeed, it will only have limited inches. But yes, you can roll survival. Is there any downside to it? Nope. It's just I'm gonna let you do survival or nature. And yeah. So whichever one's better for you, but survival oh, will give you but survival yeah. would have been better. Yeah, I'll just do survival. Mm -hmm. Mine's way better. Okay. Um oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh if you critically miss on a survival roll, I think you just no. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. You're making me very distraught. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you, you aren't actually sure you're outdoors, Sarah. Um, but Casey, on the other hand, Casey did very well. Um, so you can definitely tell there's you are the apex predators within you know your distance now there are no more um dinosaurs and or kermit mutants um you you can tell that you are much closer to water than you were when you started um there's you can tell there's some edible berries around edible plants and there's um enough small game that you could catch food if needed, nature-wise. Were there any other things you were specifically looking for? <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, it probably took you about four hours to walk the distance you did between the hill and this forest. Okay. And that was before the fight. Um, and and it was late morning when you guys entered, so it's early afternoon now. Um, you've you don't know what season it is offhand. You you think it's probably spring or summer, but you know you don't know where you are equator wise. So. You've probably got a good six to seven hours left of sunlight. So we can but track that's... more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's let's travel. I mean, we've got the time of the day to do so. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to need you guys to choose between north, northeast, east, east, or south. Yeah. 
Uh, yes, you were heading in a generally either direction. Uh, but now I want you, you to decide if you still head straight E or if you head north, northeast, southeast. Um, it's all the same among those three, but you can tell it's um, uh, evening off from the western area where you were. Um, so it's all different than where you came from. It's getting smoother, flat, evening out a bit. Um, but northeast and south all flattening out about the same rate. Wait, what were the options? Any of the direction. I say yeah. northeast. I'm feeling good about north. And if Vindor had a general type of feeling kind of about east, then we should continue to kind of go kind of east. Yeah, I agree. Let's do north. Okay. Well, you guys continue to travel northeast. Can you see more now? No. Can you see more yeah. now? Oh, okay. yes. Ooh, that looks like water. I mean, that's not east, but... That's northeast. It's not northeast. Yeah, that's exactly... Yeah, that's okay, I guess so. Yeah. That's like. Katie, right do we need to go back to areas. school to learn about our cardinal directions? Let's so here's, here's body of one. Kind of a funny thing. So, as I was looking at the map, I was thinking about it in the actual directions of, you know, life in where I'm at currently. And when you live in Denver, it's just the mountains are west. Everything else is not west. And so, <laughs> and so where I'm sitting right now, I'm like, no, that's west. <laughs> uh, so yes, I am wrong. It's fine. I got it. it. It's funny you say that because that, like, slightly relevant, but also a little irrelevant. Being in school, like, in a medical field, you learn about like anatomical right and left. I cannot look at anything, any object, and tell you if it's left or right because I think of it in terms of anatomy. Like the uh, like the object I'm looking at as a person. Like I can't say the left side of the TV's right side. Like why am I like this? Totally get you. It's so hard. Totally get it. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly right. I'd say I understand, but that just sounded weird. It <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you don't necessarily know that it's a river, but yeah, yeah, you get to a, a flowing body of water, awesome. um, and you do see. Uh, let me get my pointer out again. There's a little rocky, hilly area here. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. super high, but, you know, it's probably good, like, few feet in elevation. Uh, but that's a little off to the distance, because you are walking essentially on this path. Uh, and, yeah, you get to the water. Um, and on that note, um, so for tonight, I'm still only up for 8 to 10. Starting next week, I can go beyond 10 if you go up to. Or we can still keep it to 10. So we're probably going to wrap up pretty soon for tonight. But if if you guys want to start going longer starting week, that's fine by me. Maybe we can do a poll or something. Uh, but this is probably going to be our wrap-up point for tonight. Uh, I am going to have you all love. Um, do, I have never done that in Roll20. Um, I... I don't know if there's a button. Okay. Yeah, no, if there's just a button that walks you through it. Yeah. I want you all to level up. Level two. And 
And next week, we will explore what's at this coastline. Casey, where is that level up? Yeah. Yeah, that is super fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And this type two. Does change? Does that change okay. any of your stats or just that? If I can talk over you, Casey, uh, if you if you go on your character sheet, uh -huh. uh, if you see it, there's the hit points box, yeah. and then there's the temporary points box, which is empty. Uh -huh. uh, there's the two boxes below it. The left one has hit dice on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm looking at Casey's right now. It says D10. It could be D6, D8, D12. You just roll one of those. Oh. Love it. Yeah, so that, that hit dice is what you... So, for example, Casey would roll a d10, and then take whatever it is, and then add his constitution modifier. So, for example, looking at Casey's, it would be three. But it's just whatever your modifier is for your constitution, plus what you roll. And that's I, I will let you guys pick. You guys can either do your roll, or uh, you can take, um, so if it's a d10, you can take five, d8, take four. Um, yeah, you go to d10, for most people to d8. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, sorry, I think I said five earlier. So it's plus one, to be clear. Uh, because it's technically the middle row you get is like uh, something point five. So it's um, whatever the dice is. So, guys, would have the D8, it would be five plus uh, whatever your constitution modifier. I will let you either roll or just take that average. Uh, that, that's going to be up to you guys. Yeah, we rolled a six. The eight is a plus two. But yeah. Okay, so we would add that where exactly? I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of lost. Okay. okay. On, yeah. uh, so like, you, so you'd edit the points maximum. Got it. So just to clarify, my hit points are currently 10. What should they be now? I rolled the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. I had 16. 16, please. Charity <laughs> roll. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so we can back that. So I'm going to have you add seven on this one, Katie. Just take 
if 10 is your maximum right now, then just turn it into 17. But then also, as Casey was saying in your handbook, um, it's mixed by class, but you do generally get a little something when you go to level two as well. So check what that is. You might get another spell. You might um, get something or other. Wow. <laughs> I was trying. Um, I'm to not <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All she rolled two eights. Yeah. I'll I'll allow the A plus whatever your modifier is. It, Just not sixteen. What's my modifier? How do I figure that so, out? So okay. Uh, just, so there's been a lot of talking and a lot of numbers, and I'm trying to follow. That's fair. And it's really hard. Uh, so Sarah, I'm looking at your character sheet now. Uh-huh. So, the, eight. Uh, the attributes on the left side, your modifier is the bold number. So for constitution, your modifier is two. Right. Okay. And then your actual score is 14. Okay. So you'll add eight plus two. So you'll add 10 to your HP, oh. which is pretty good. Nice. Okay. So and roll the dice once, yeah. add... The, con- the bold number under Constitution to get uh, a total, and then add that to hit points. Yep. Or if you go to hit dice, okay. just roll the hit dice button, and it automatically adds in your modifier, like uh, Peter and everyone have done. I yeah. don't know where that is. That's why I messed it up. I, like, where is that so hit dice? So I did thing? that. So that's oh, six. Oh, shit. I see it. So now. then do I add <laughs> six to hit points, or do I add six We're good. plus four? Which is my constitution modifier. Uh, you add six, because you rolled a two. See, how do so you, you know that? that? How do I know that? So if you look at the... If, your mouse if you hover over, over the six, six yeah. it breaks oh. it down. So it tells you, you roll two, and then add four. Okay. Why does make it so complicated? Yeah. Uh, and it will just ask, you know, if you, for this, for this role, since I didn't explain it wonderfully, you can take whichever is higher. You can do your, and then choose to do the average, but from now on, I'll have you pick either you get to roll or you take the average, but yeah, so lock beforehand. But for this one, yeah, you just take whichever the two is higher. I am. No, it can be. That would be nice for me. Yeah. What's the. You keep talking about an average. Like what? Uh, Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that like that five plus one wait, what's the one modifier? Uh okay. Why did, why why is it so confusing to me? Like what No worries, because Casey and I are both trying to explain it, but we're using different terms and things. Uh so um so an average roll when you have a D eight is four and a half, technically. Uh, so you just read up to five and you call that average. So that's where we get the five. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so you... Okay. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's just the average. Um, normally you'll have to like decide are you going to roll or take the average? Because the roll you could roll lower, but I didn't explain it very well, so I'm just going to let you guys do whichever is better. Um, my 
my headphones are giving me the beeping tone of I'm about to die. <laughs> uh, oh, now it's saying low bad in a British voice. So um, I will have to log off. I will see you guys all night. Uh, if you guys could put into the Facebook chat what time you're okay with ending. Is it, if you guys are okay with going past 10, I'm fine with playing more than two hours um, starting next week. But yeah, I will see you all next week. Bye. Yeah. I am going yeah. to bed. <laughs> I will see you all next week. Toodaloo. I mean, for me, it seems like I figured it out. Like, because I went to 17 hit points because I rolled five. And yeah, I feel like that's it, right? Yeah, I didn't really understand that explanation. <laughs> I think I'm good. I feel like you and I need to have a conversation because I put my like I put my thing as rogue two. So what you're saying is I could do rogue run, rogue one, and then do sorcerer one. Okay, so how do I fix that on the character sheet though? Yeah, but where do I put that? Right. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's done now. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, do you want to just meet up some other time, maybe next week before our next uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to sign off then. Bye, everyone. I think I'm good. I was just listening in to see if I got everything. <laughs> Yeah, good. Okay. That'd be perfect. I added in um, more information into my second level abilities and I don't know if that's something you need to read to add more into my character or yeah I just copied and pasted a bunch of stuff from the monk uh roll 20 compendium it's the same way that it was either you or it happened automatically but uh there was a copying and pasting of the first level of being that happen automatically. I just copied and pasted the second level stuff because I don't know if that has anything to do with the rules. So, yeah. Under my character sheet on the bottom right, on unarmed on defense and martial arts, in the wrong places, I don't know, but. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My subclass is Way of the Open Hand for Monk. So, but that I don't think that that goes into effect until the third level. That's we're good then. I mean, is there any way to add a counter? Because I don't have a, I don't have a short bow or a crossbow. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Oke. Okay. Gotcha. Sounds good. Bye, Casey. Thank you. 